I have a dream. That's all I need. I got the hug right through the freaking ring. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man. I'm gonna show you how this scene will be grand. These ladies, oh, it's a monster. This is just the beginning. I'm closing in the night, and there ain't no point in resisting. Living life, I'm a dream. Living right, that's a thing. Every night, got a team. I've been tied to the scene. Out on stage, here. See if there's a space over there. It jumped at me. The bunny, a rabbit. I got it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have a big, big surprise. Well, probably not a surprise. I've been talking about it all, all the time with on social media. So right now, I'm gonna do a little walk around on my 170, a Pro 170 tracker. So you barely fit in the garage. First thing first, um, my garage is I think only close to 20 feet. So this barely cut, as you can see. Garage door misses by half an inch. I'm not even less than that. Um, but yeah, I got the blue one because it's the two options is blue or red. Uh, and it comes, so I'm gonna do a little walk around all throughout it. Stuff that I noticed. First thing first is the Minn Kota Edge. Um, it's a 45 pound thrust. As you can see right over here, it's a 45 pound thrust. And I've heard good things about it. I've heard some bad things about it. I don't know. I haven't put it in the water yet. So I'll find out uh, if it's you know strong enough for this little boat. Uh, another thing I want to mention is this trailer. If it didn't come with this right here, it wouldn't have worked. Because look at how much it comes out right there. Look at all that. Because if it folds away, now I can store it. But if it wasn't for that simple little detail, it would not fit in my garage. So that's something you want to look into as well. Do a lot of measurements. I got lucky. Uh, I thought my garage was gonna at least give me a foot. But the another thing that I really like is it's kind of like the way if the trailer feels is like a rhino lining um, coat on it. It, it. That's the way I it feels. I put rhino lining on my on the truck bed and it feels the same. It's very nice. Um, and when I tow it for the first time, it didn't give me no problems. It was a very smooth ride. Um, that's the main thing that I, I took away from this trailer. I really like it. It's so far, it's done its purpose. I've only had it for a day now, so <laughs> let's. Uh, Weights are retractable, so they, that way you can put it away when you're not using it. When you're using it, you can just bring it right back up. That's something I believe new on the 2020 and 2021s. Um, people really like that. All right. So now that we're talking, we talked about exterior, the trailer, some nice wheels, um, nice lights, the guides in here, it's pretty nice too. The one thing I do recommend doing guys is getting rid of this right here and getting a new one, okay? Because this one feels really weak. Out of, out of all of them, it feels it doesn't feel good. So that's what I recommend uh, getting rid of and if you're gonna get rid of something. And as you can tell, right here, he barely fits in my garage. I had to turn the engine a little bit. This is a 50 horsepower uh, Mercury four stroke and he barely fits in the garage. If It's like half an inch right there. Um, and over here, let me take my core out of the way. On my garage, I also wanna make sure he barely fits there too. So easiest step, so you can step here or here and then jump right on. So yesterday it was raining a lot, so it's a little wet in here. I'm trying to let it dry. Um, the lights, stern lights, and you're all here for you. So that right there, the nice little storage. Um, but let's start out with, let me take this hat out of the way. What am I have here? First thing first is, this Lawrence, it's a Lawrence hook. For what I'm gonna use it for, this is gonna be just my depth finder. Um, I'm not gonna use it as a fish finder. I heard it's the, you know, it's not that great, but 
I'm gonna use many of the time when I'm fishing because I'm going to be using that hummingbird right there. I need to install it. It's a Helix 5 chirp with GPS in it and I'm excited to use that. But um, as you can see here, there's a phone holder. So it's easy for you to just plug in your phone uh, right here while it's charging and have it just right there. And over here you do have your nav light, anchor light, um, and then aerator and bilge pump right there and then your horn so you just just like that it's easy little cubby right. right here right over here uh, we do have where you can trim it up trim it down and a really cool thing is that if you press this right here all the way in with one hand and then push it forward uh, you can uh, warm up your engine it's pretty cool you got your forward neutral and, and then you have reverse all right guys that's a uh, steering wheel it's nice could be a little bit better but it's nice all right let's go over here do you have your light over here turn it on turn it off i do recommend always checking on it because you might bump on it by accident like this with your knee and then during the sun the daytime you are not going to even notice if it's on or not it's going to drain your battery right down here I, I, I put some of my soft plastics got my all my bandito bugs all of my worms everything's all in here organized for me and my wife and down over here this is where i keep life jackets plenty of space with three to four life jackets in there um it gets it out of the way and into like a little safe spot i am very excited about is this locker this rot locker um plenty big for what i use i think if you get uh anything close to eight foot of oh, your, your rod's not gonna fit in here but it's plenty big i put a net in here i'm gonna get a bigger net eventually but yeah so and then this right over here is gonna be your live well i really like the live well it's plenty big 12 gallon live well um it's gonna be good enough for tournaments all that kind of stuff like that so i can put my fish in it there's a, a place to put your bucket of live bait right there and uh, keep going just like that i like it i like it a lot all right guys and right here is where i keep all of my tackle my tackle bag uh plenty big for for a large tackle bag um i can scoop down a little bit and have a little bit more room for more things but this is a very big tackle bag as you can see huge so you got all that room in there all that room but yeah this is a huge tackle bag that i keep all my hard plastic and um you know top water everything in here lines everything's ready to go here but um yeah i'll keep it in there okay so right here i'm probably gonna put my hummingbird somewhere in the front eventually but yeah this is what i'm working with right there nice little no slip right there to stand on and um, this is what i'm gonna have to get used to learn how to use this on my old boat as you guys noticed i didn't have any it was all hand so uh, this is gonna be fun to learn how to use it but plenty of space on deck as you can see got plenty of room in your room you can do three uh, two to three people over here comfortably fishing from from this deck right over here so and then and then we do this back here there is more storage underneath the seat it's where you got your fire extinguisher and then the paddle to give you and the light some uh, navigation lights over here so plenty, not a lot of room, but you can fit a few things here. And the seats are actually very comfortable. Sat on it yesterday, I was going over the owner's manual and I almost fell asleep. So really nice seats. And this has, so I forgot to mention, lock, the rod locker has where well, you can lock it. Same thing with this back storage right here. I uh, keep a flotation device right there and my bag with all my documents, uh, legal paperwork for the boats, all in here. And there's more room for more things. So if a friend brings a little bit of tackle with them, 
uh, we can put it in here. So plenty of space there too. And I have one of the seats right there and the other one over there. It's drying off since yesterday here in Texas. Started to have a rainstorm. So uh, after the cold front, rainstorms and all of that. Oh, uh, right here is your, it's a 12 gallon tank. You have two batteries right there with the engine and then for the rest of the stuff like your trolling motor your lights all of that it's all here for you easy access uh, it's a little hard to take out if you're going to take them out uh, but to charge they're already there for you it's easy to charge i have my charger right there i just run it from that wall over here so it's easy for me but yeah another really cool thing is this this engine huge engine a lot bigger than i've I've, I'm used to. Um, on my other one, I bought a eight horsepower outboard motor, but this motor right here is it's really nice. I like the way it looks. It's very big, but it's not too loud. That's another thing. When they turned it up over there at Cabela's, it wasn't too loud. It was perfect. All so, right, guys. As you can see, very comfortable. I can walk around very easily in here. This is where I'm probably gonna be doing most of my fishing trips right here on this location and then I'm gonna head to the front or the back um, yeah we're gonna have a lot of fun a lot of content coming up for you guys I'm very excited so stay tuned with our videos guys if you like this video go ahead give us a thumbs up you know share the video and uh, you know fish on baby fish on